Let's go. It was 3 a.m. I was wide awake again and in a full-on battle with insomnia and the thermostat. My brain filled with random thoughts. I'd been here before. I knew the drill. Roll to the other side, fluff the pillow, sigh deeply. Here comes the anxiety. Somewhere between contemplating my chances of surviving a grizzly bear attack and wondering if I'd left the oven on after dinner, it occurred to me that the holidays were approaching. How could I make it special for my family? Could I reinvent the wheel again? Could I rob Peter to pay Paul again? Okay, tomorrow, I thought. Right now, I need sleep. By day, I'm a realtor with Century 21 here in Bozeman. That in itself is PK worthy. I mean, who among you doesn't have a sister, uncle, neighbor, or hairstylist who isn't also a realtor? <laughs> I also paint kitchen cabinets as it's my zen, and I'm also a life coach and help people to navigate change and to challenge decisions they've made for and about themselves. Needless to say, I hustle. <laughs> like many of you, I have to. After all, I live in Bozeman, Montana or Bos Angeles, as some of you would call it, where the rents are high and the home prices are higher. Call me. <laughs> that, and I'm a single mom. Cue the disco ball. Since 2016, it has been my extreme pleasure and greatest joy to be the fixer, the finder, the teacher, the driver, the springboard, the soother, and the provider for these two amazing humans. Being a single mom is not for the faint of heart. The temptation to want to be their friend often overshadows the obligation to be their parent, resulting in a tug of war between your heart and mind. Over the years, we've had some difficult conversations about wants versus needs and about priorities, and there have been some nail biters, but through unconditional love, mutual respect, and a few nuggets of wisdom, I call them momisms, I can easily say that my boys are my greatest work. I smile to myself when I hear them repeat some of those momisms. One nugget of wisdom, and it must be said, is they will F you in the drive through Yes, I'm that mom. <laughs> this has been a blanket statement for the boys and me anytime someone fails to show up and do the work or when reasonable expectations have fallen by the wayside. But on a more serious note, my boys were raised with these things in mind. If you don't ask, you don't get. True in all of life, learn to ask for what you want. Love is no good if you keep it inside. Love, like, respect, appreciation, put it all out there. And always chase the relationship and not the buck or the sale. My boys grew up with me primarily being in sales roles. They know very well that I value sincere connection with people far more than I value the buck. I've had ample opportunity to chase the buck, and I've learned that in doing so, you might get it and you might not. But if you chase the relationship with sincerity and you're successful, that connection will serve you in so many ways beyond the financial. Which brings me back to my battle with the grizzly and my angst about the impending holidays. I wondered how many other single parents were lying awake at three in the morning, wringing their hands and stressing about making ends meet and how to provide meaningful experiences for their families. Now that's a relationship that I want to chase. So I had an idea. Introducing the single bell, a 501c3, application pending, whose goal is to provide single parents in Bozeman with opportunities and supplemental resources to enrich and encourage meaningful experiences in their families' lives. Originally, my thoughts for the single bell were focused around things involving the holidays and on facilitating memorable experiences that would translate into traditions and unique and festive opportunities to connect. Things like sleigh rides, tickets to the Nutcracker, arts and crafts for gift giving, even store vouchers to purchase and prepare holiday meals. But then I thought again. The Single Parent Juggling Act knows no season. It's evergreen, baby. Conflicting obligations, newly developed interests that a child might have, a sudden growth spurt, that surprise expense at the vet when Fido swallows a ball. Any one of these can throw a single parent's budget into a tailspin. As a result, change has to happen and difficult conversations must be had. Good intentions fall by the wayside, and sometimes promises are broken. Granted, disappointment is a part of life, and that truly is a life lesson to be learned, but the magnitude of having those conversations in a single-parent household can be tough to navigate. Single parents often have to forego things that might otherwise be more affordable in a two-parent, dual-income household, forcing them to choose the lesser of two evils. One of those evils perhaps being not having enough money to put gas in the car or to pay the electric bill or perhaps put money in their child's lunch account. I know I've been there. 
I have a friend, a single mom, whose son desperately needed braces. Not having enough for the initial down payment, she was forced to wait until it was more affordable. That delay in addressing her son's dental needs resulted in serious overcrowding, which caused for more extractions, which ultimately led to higher expense and a longer, more painful experience for her son. Another friend, a single father, has twin daughters who are both excellent skiers. When married, they skied together as a family, but because two ski passes aren't in the current budget, he alternates the years that each girl gets a pass, relying on friends and family to allow him to <coughs> borrow theirs for the other daughter. Life-changing, likely not. Unfortunate? You bet. Ultimately, I would like to see the single bell provide things like musical instruments, sports equipment, dance lessons, club memberships, even tutors for students of single parents whose budgets might not allow for such things. I don't think that a person should need to be destitute before someone lends them a hand. I am so open to thoughts, ideas, and criticisms, and I invite anyone who has interest in this venture to contact me. Obviously, it will only work in the community if the community is behind it. So if you have thoughts on a creative way to move the single bell forward, know that I am here for it. I don't intend to have a website for the single bell as I don't have the time to manage it, nor do I want to spend uh, the administrative expense to maintain it. Instead, I would prefer to focus all funds on empowering and enabling single parents in Bozeman, but you can find us on Facebook at The Single Bell or contact me at thesinglebell at gmail.com. Thank you for listening.